Hey guys, Peter here to tell you about the latest from Downset Maintain out June 10th on Nuclear Blast. This album has 11 tracks, 37 minutes in length, and this is the band's six full length studio album. They are an American hardcore band. A band that's taken an 8 year hiatus between records. Definitely not the longest for them, but it is a huge chunk of change. Now, how does that hiatus impact this record? I don't see the direct impact in it, either from a positive or negative perspective. The album is downset. When you look at the structure, when you look at the design, when you look at the soundscape, lyrical content, everything is what we've come to expect from this band. An album that stays very balanced, very cohesive, very linear, not dynamic, stays on path, it stays on course. From the first to the last song, the experience that you get at the beginning of the record is going to be the experience that you get, you're get. you going to get throughout the entire album. Everything moves in the same direction. An album that doesn't define itself by the structure or doesn't allow the structure to define the album. You can have a different starting point every time you pick up this record. What you're going to get out of it is going to be exactly the same. The structure is just there, but it has no defining role in the quality or lack of as far as this album is concerned. Once you move on to the sound, the moment you press play, down set. The guitars, the bass, the vocals, the lyrics, the drums, everything is the DNA of this band. They're just capturing the essence of the world that's surrounding them and putting that out there in their music. That's really the only change between the previous record and this album. But the sound sounds exactly the same. The chunkiness, the way the riffs come across, the way the guitars come across, the drums really compacting the sound but not overpowering the sound, using a lot of the bass to create grooviness, to connect the drums with the guitars, to create a thicker experience, to give a little bit more power, a little bit more texture, a little bit more volume without really changing too much of the DNA of the band and without having to go too far off the beaten path. I would have liked to see a few more uh, you know, dynamic riffs, riffs that really stand out, that become earworms, that allows this album to have more movement, not just movement forward, but up and down. The album stays too stagnant from that perspective. There are changes in terms of execution, but the sounding, the experience that you're getting from these riffs stays very controlled, it stays very linear from start to finish. Impacting three or four songs by changing those riffs, by making them uh, more lively by giving them a little bit more of substance of giving them a little bit more texture would allow the whole record to feel a lot different to feel a lot brighter to feel a lot more engaging a lot more interesting this is an album that while being 37 minutes in length it doesn't really help when everything feels very very close together when there's not a lot of changes happening from song to song so changing a few tracks would have had a complete impact on the whole record without having to attack each and every single song and try to tweak it in order to create those necessary ebbs and flows that every single record should have at least to a certain degree. Now as far as the rest of the guitars are concerned, I do like the chunkiness, I, I do like the grooviness, I do like the sound experience, how they come across. That power, that drive, that specific DNA from Downset is alive and well on this album and you really need that. So outside of those riffs that I would have liked to see, everything else is where it's supposed to be and everything else makes the sound feel as powerful, as compact as possible. And that's exactly what you were hoping for coming in. The drums help that experience, the bass elevates that experience, but the guitars are really the driver of that sound of where the album is trying to go and definitely where the individual songs are going. The lyrics on this album, while following the path of previous records, I didn't feel like they hit the mark as much as previous albums had done in the past. They were there in terms of the social impact, the political impact, the world of today seen from their eyes. All of that is there, but they lacked a little bit of creativity. They felt too secure, they felt too simple. There was really nothing there that I was able to connect with. I could agree with the message or disagree with the message, but I almost became indifferent to the message because the lyrics didn't really drive home the emotion necessary in order for you to connect with them one way or another. You want to feel something, either agree or disagree, but you want to feel something. And this album lyrically kind of felt a little bit blend. And when you mix that with that lack of, of interest as far as having some out, out of the box riffs, makes the whole album flatten out a little bit too much from start to finish. Now the vocals are outstanding, the vocals are what I was expecting coming in and I got exactly what I was expecting. They drive the song forward, they have that, that rustic sound to them, that rustic experience that really is down set, so that part of the vocal approach was on point. Just the lyrics behind that vocal approach 
that felt a little bit behind what my expectations were coming in. All around, this is a good album. It's just not a memorable album. And there's not enough there to make you come back to the well time and time and time again. It's a record that's gonna run its course fairly quickly. It doesn't have those catchy hooks. It doesn't have those catchy choruses. It doesn't have those standout riffs. And it then it doesn't have that lyrical content that speaks to the listener almost immediately and makes you gravitate to these songs and stay connected with them even after uh, uh, some time passes by and, and there's a lot more things happening and the lyrical content of the album perhaps starts to dissipate a little bit. So this record is a great record or is a good record because everything sounds good, everything sounds together. It doesn't really have a negative impact from the hiatus that they've been on, but at the same time it doesn't really move the barometer one way or another. As far as favorite songs are concerned, I want to start off with Blackest of Days. Power Riff, uh, it helps set up the rest of the track and then it comes a little bit in jolts. It comes in, it drops out, it comes in, it drops out. It creates a little bit of movement without adding too much actual movement to the song. It, it just gives you more of a lateral movement and not necessarily a forward movement. The underlining guitars that come in every so often between those jolts really help connect the track, giving it a little bit more texture, giving it a little bit more presence, increasing the volume, increasing the overall footprint of the track without necessarily having a direct impact on how you're gonna perceive it because you have to really be paying attention to them because they're very fainted in the backdrop and they're not always there, so they're coming in and going out. The vocals guide you through it, they're straightforward. The song is straightforward, it feels very direct, it feels very raw, and that perhaps it's the appeal. The overall record, as far as sound is concerned, really feels like a jam session. It's recorded from in that format. So it's an album that live is gonna work really well because it's, it's almost geared towards that aspect of their presence, of them as a band, and it allows you to feel what the live experience is gonna be across each and every single song. And this one is definitely no different. It has that sort of energy, it has that sort of vibe. Next you have wreck -It. The bass opening is absolutely great because it's so groovy. It sounds absolutely phenomenal. It has great ingredients to it that really sets up the track to be groovy from start all the way to the bottom. The guitars add to that grooviness. The vocals build on it, adding volume, adding experience. It's a simple track, but a track that builds up from start to end. It doesn't stay linear, it doesn't stay in the pocket. It gains momentum, it gains power, it gains heaviness, it grows, it becomes larger, and that allows you to really feel like the song is going somewhere. It's not just staying around, it's not just floating around, it actually has this upwards movement to it, then leads you into the solo. The solo is, is, is really outstanding, the solo adds an explosive nature to the song, it adds fuel to the fire, it makes the sound, the sound feel more vibrant, it makes the song feel more vibrant. It, it adds a great perspective to this track and it is really the cherry on top as far as that progression, as far as that movement that the song has from start all the way to the end. Last but not least, hear me now, chunky, meaty track. I mean, this is chunky and meaty all the way through. The guitars, the bass, the drums, the way they interact with one another, you really feel like a wall of sound. You feel like you're in front of the amps. I talked about earlier in terms of the album having that live sound to it. This song is one that really encapsulates that experience. You feel like your head is right in front of the amp. You feel all of that sound coming at you. Very powerful, very thick experience and then it has a chorus that jumps out, that feels a little bit more uh, energetic, that has a little bit more life in it, while the verses are perhaps more controlled, a little bit more direct, a little bit more linear. The lyrics on this song are some of the best in the entire album. They sound good, they feel good, they have a good message. They're easy to understand, they're easy to grasp, they're easy to connect with, and are lyrics that really help you understand the sound, the impact that the sound has, in the story, in the message that they're trying to create. The two go hand in hand, and when you have music that becomes the soundtrack of the lyrics, of the message that you have in mind, then it's absolutely perfect. This song is the one throughout the entire album where I felt like all of these moving pieces came together almost effortlessly from start all the way to the end. This is it. Downset, maintain our June 10th on Nuclear Blast. Let me know your thoughts on the band, on the singles. Use the comment section below. I'll be reading those and getting back to you. Take care, guys.